Hello my friends, welcome again. In this video I'm going to create a new Laravel website. I had a comment in my channel. He want to create a new Laravel website with three or four pages and only one components without section and layouts. So he want to use components only without using a extent directive. Okay. So first I'm going to create a new Laravel application. I'm going to call it a test app for example. And when we create this application, I'm going to open with a Visual Studio Code. I'm going to create a home page, a cl clients page, a about page and a contact page. So three pages or with a home page. Okay, application is ready. CD in the test app and open with the code. And here first I'm going to go to the routes, web page, web PHP. And we have a only one road and it's going to the views welcome blade. I'm going to change this. And instead, instead of a get, I'm going to road view and welcome. Okay, save this. Go here and go to the test app. The test, and this is our application. Okay. Here is the HTML tag, the head tag, the body, and I'm going to remove everything here. Okay. Here I'm going to create a new file for the what we had here uh, clients about and contact okay new file for clients blade php a new one for the about blade php Another one for contact blade PHP. Okay, and we have uh, our pages now inside the view, inside the roads, web road. I'm going to do the same here. road view and when we go to the clients we are going to go to the clients and just copy this one and about When the bit about another one contact and 
and the contact. Okay, if I save, I'll go here and go to the client. Yeah, we don't have anything about. Okay, we now have error and contact. Okay, we can uh, can do if we want to use a com controller. But for, because I just want to return a view, I uh, the road view. I use the road view. Okay, now inside the views, I'm going to create a new or I'm going to open the terminal and PHP artisan make a component and up layout component and now we have a component here and I'm going to create a new folder call it a layout and inside here a new file calling up blade.php Okay, come to the welcome, uh, copy all from here, cut from here and inside the app blade, pass it here. Save and now we, have, we don't need this uh, because I'm going to inside the app where we have views layout. I'm not returning the components up layout, but uh, layouts up. And now inside the welcome, we can do x up layout. And H1, for example, uh, welcome to the Laravel. Save and go back here. Component app. Uh, I don't apply it. Okay, refresh and I yeah, forget something here. We need to add the slot. Save, come here, refresh, and here we have the welcome to the level. And we can use this. of pages so here we can welcome to a clients page and the same thing said the about page and contact page uh, I want to I think if I have enough bar here
have, yeah, we have a numbar and I want to copy this code. Uh, go to the layouts, app layout here and be pass it here just to indent little bit okay and here is going to be our clients the second one is going to be uh, about and contact and that the chef to the clients and let's show to the about and to the contact uh, save go to the application I refresh and we need the Italian CSS so if I go to the Italian CSS here get started and the installation here using uh, with a CDN copy this one and come here and remove the style here save refresh now yeah no, we don't need this uh, button here where we have a button yeah I don't need the button and uh, I need to add section or main class max with 6 Excel and mix auto save this one I'll refresh and now we have it so in the center we can go to the clients about and contact uh, contact I make my refresh again and clients about and contact and here we go Laraveller. can go here to the home page okay uh, now I, I don't know if this is what he want but we can do with the database for example we can create a migration for pages and add create pages there and inside the web PHP we can remove that and make a route get for example and go to the pages or the slug of the page and we can create a page controller with a show method and 
uh, page so but this is going to be a long video so hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one thank you very much